The bright lights that lit up the city of Jerusalem were put out one by one as the Feast of Tabernacles came to an end. The week-long celebration was a reminder of the days when God himself led the nation with the fire of his presence out of slavery in Egypt. As things returned to normal, the people were reminded once again that they were a nation in darkness, ruled by strangers. Where was God, and when would the light of his presence return? The crowd grew quiet as Jesus stood to teach, but his first words left them stunned. I am the light of the world. Even though the people were surprised by what he had just said, Jesus continued, Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. His claim was bold, backed by the power of God himself. He was the true source of light, and light who spoke the world into being. He was the light that shined into darkness, and darkness could not stop it. I am the light of the world, he said. Adam and Eve once lived in the Garden of Eden, where God's presence brought them daily joy, happiness, and perfect friendship with each other and God. There were no tears, no pain, no sickness, and no death, because it was a place where God lived. But Adam and Eve disobeyed God, and sin and darkness entered their perfect world. They were driven out of paradise. Because of their sin, they and all of humankind after them would experience shame, hopelessness, fear, and the pain of being separated from the light, from the one who breathed them into life. But God had a plan. He would enter into the dark kingdom to save what was lost. The kingdom of God broke through the darkness and into the world as a tiny baby. When Jesus was born, the brightest star shined in the sky, telling the world that their Savior had come. The light of God and his salvation had finally come. Jesus offered his perfect life to get rid of the curse of sin and death. His resurrection proved the success of his mission. Through Jesus Christ, we are saved and brought out of darkness and into the light of his presence where there is joy and happiness forever.